Hello, this is Brett Lonsdale from Lightning Tools and this demonstration is going to show you how to install DeliverPoint in a SharePoint 2013 environment. The first thing you will do following downloading the trial from our website is to open up the zip file which will contain a DeliverPoint 2013 MSI file. Now, By double clicking onto that MSI file the installation wizard will be launched at which point you will choose next, accept the terms of the license agreement select next again. You can verify the path that you want to install the product into. Um, this uh, is a default of the DeliverPoint 2013 folder under program files but that can be changed to any drive or any folder. Select next and install and the product will install at which point you will click finish. So that's installed the binaries for DeliverPoint. The next thing will be to launch the configuration wizard. Now the configuration wizard you'll find under the start menu um, or you'll also find a shortcut on your desktop or a tile if you're using a later version of Windows. So we can double click onto the DeliverPoint configuration shortcut in my environment. Select next and the first thing that you'll be prompted for is the Deliver DeliverPoint impersonation username and password. Now the purpose of this DeliverPoint crawls the Active Directory and also the SharePoint environment and stores the crawled information including all of the users and groups from the Active Directory and the SharePoint permissions and user accounts from SharePoint and stores them in our own SQL database. Now you get to name that database uh, but that database is used for all of the reporting and the uh, basis of the jobs um, such as copying, transferring and deleting permissions with inside the SharePoint environment. And the reason for that is performance so if you're doing um, for example a cross web application report on a user's permissions uh, we're not having to crawl through the object model of SharePoint for the entire farm um, in real time we can just pull that information out of our own database without affecting the performance of SharePoint. So first thing that we need um, is a account that DeliverPoint is going to run with. Now that account needs to be a farm admin account, it needs to be a member of the farm admin uh, group. It also um, optionally needs to have the uh, full control user policy on each web application. I say optionally um, because being a farm admin account doesn't necessarily give you full control to all of the objects within inside each web application so uh, to be on the safe side you can create a web application policy granting the DeliverPoint service account full permissions to everything. And the purpose of that is just to be able to crawl the information obviously the nature of SharePoint requires that you have the uh, manage permissions role in order to or read permissions to be able to uh, gather that information. So that's the uh, the first thing that you need to ensure. Um, we'll also enter a password for that account and select next. Okay, the next point is to specify the location and the um, database name. So I'm going to put in the name of my SQL server. Uh, the SQL server could be the same SQL server that is hosting the configuration database and the content databases or it can be another server, it really doesn't matter which SQL Server that is and it can be anything from SQL Server 2005 onwards um, in this case I'm using uh, SQL Server 2012. The database name also doesn't matter uh, for the purpose of this demonstration I'm going to call it DeliverPoint. I'm going to select next and at that point um, the installation will uh, will carry on. It's going to create the database for me and it's also going to deploy the WSP. Uh, this will take a little while. Um, it says on the screen that it could take up to 15 minutes. That would be unusual um, but five minutes would be uh, probably about the norm. Um, so what I'm going to do is click next and we'll pause the demonstration until the, uh, the process has finished. Okay, so the installation is complete, so we can uh, click next and then choose finish. Okay, so the next thing we would do is go into 
SharePoint Central Administration. The purpose of going to SharePoint Central Administration is to first of all set the uh, configuration on the timer job. Now what we're going to do is first of all refresh the page if you already had Central Administration open as I did. Okay and we're going to click onto the cog in the top right hand corner and you'll be able to see the deliver point configuration. Now selecting the deliver point configuration will load the deliver point configuration page and from there what we're going to do is ensure that the timer jobs that crawl the Active Directory and also crawls the uh, SharePoint environment are going to do a full crawl initially. So we're going to the Timer Job Settings page which is the uh, the fifth option down and at the top here you'll see the SharePoint crawl method and we can do a full or an incremental. So initially we want to do a full crawl so once the full crawl has taken place we'll come back in here and set it to incremental. Okay, so having set that we'll scroll to the bottom and select OK. Now we'll also go and check that the timer jobs are in fact deployed. If you've uh, removed deliver point and reinstalled deliver point occasionally you'll find that those timer jobs uh, are not um, actually appearing so uh, what we'll do is first of all just check and if required we'll go and uh, reset the, uh, the feature. So by selecting the monitoring tab and then choosing job definitions. We're going to scroll down to the bottom, select uh, next and what we're looking for is three uh, lightning tools timer jobs. Now you'll actually see that mine were deployed. Um, it's possible as I mentioned that they may not have been. So if that is the case then what we'll do is uh, we'll go to the system settings, click on to manage farm features and you'll notice in here that there's a lightning tools dash deliver point 2013 timer jobs feature and uh, it may be inactive or if it is active and the jobs still aren't appearing it might be worth just deactivating and reactivating uh, that feature okay however so mine were successful so the next thing I'm going to do is go to the monitoring tab again and review the job definitions and what we're going to do is initiate our first crawl so um, the first one that we want to execute is the auth store interrogation. Now if you do nothing at this point the jobs will take place because they are on a schedule but if you're expecting deliver point to work straight away uh, then what you'll need to do is uh, is come in here and kick off the crawls uh, to begin with. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is go into the lightning tools deliver point auth store interrogation job and you'll notice here that it runs every Saturday at 2 o'clock in the morning or 2.30 uh, 2 to 2.30 in the morning. Um, that can obviously be changed. Uh, what I'm going to do is just run it manually now. So I'm going to click onto the Run Now button. The length of time that that will take will really depend on the environment. It depends on the uh, um, bandwidth from the SharePoint environment to the Active Directory. Of course it depends on the size of the Active Directory uh, or Active Directory servers uh, and different forests depending on what your configuration is. <coughs> so uh, this should actually take about five minutes for my environment. It's a fairly small environment. Um, typically, it may take one to two hours to do a full crawl, um, but once that crawl has taken place, uh, we'll switch it back to an incremental, so every Saturday it will just be looking for changes. The next job that we'll, uh, we'll take a look at is the SharePoint interrogation. So we'll wait until the All-Store interrogation has completed, and you can check that by going to the Running Jobs. Um, I can see that there are no jobs currently running, um, so I'll go back to the uh, job definitions. So that will imply that my uh, auth store interrogation has completed. And the next thing I'm going to do is uh, kick off the SharePoint interrogation. So we'll click onto that and uh, notice that this runs every day um, at 2 o'clock in the morning. And um, again, it's going to do a full crawl initially, but after that, it will do an incremental crawl. So I'm going to run now that will kick off the full crawl for us okay now the third deliver point job is the uh, job execution that's not a crawler that uh, the purpose of that job is to actually uh, run every five minutes and it has the job of um, copying the permissions or transferring the permissions uh, and so on when you schedule a job to take place uh, so that's not a crawler so we don't need to actually execute that or do anything with it 
Uh, the only purpose uh, for running that manually would be if you performed a copy operation or a transfer of permissions and uh, you didn't want to wait five minutes, you wanted to trigger it now. Okay. So, um, with that in mind, let's go and check the installation. Um, so, what I'm going to do is just go to a uh, team site. You'll notice that uh, on the uh, site actions menu or the, uh, the the cog icon in the top right hand corner there are no deliver point options at the moment but having refreshed the page we'll click onto the uh, cog icon again and this time you can see there's two deliver point options. So the uh, the bottom option is a discover site permissions so uh, it's worthwhile just checking that that's going to bring some information back for us so we can go into there uh, we can run a permission report either on uh, a particular user um, or on a particular permission for example I can get rid of some of these permissions if I'm going to have an overwhelming uh, permission report uh, click next and we should start to see some results coming back so uh, so here we can see the permissions that each user has and uh, also how those permissions have been assigned so that's looking good uh, the next thing to check is to click onto the cog icon again and this time we're going to choose the deliver point 2013 option and by selecting that this is the main deliver point dashboard and once that has loaded uh, what we'll see is within our server farm we have uh, our web applications and you'll be able to drill down into your web applications and you'll be able to see your managed paths your site collections and also your sites so if this is populated that means that the uh, SharePoint crawl has been 100% successful and uh, from here you'll be able to see all of the different um, sites with inside your site collection uh, you'll see the different types of icons depending on whether they inherit permissions or they have unique permissions and you'll also be able to perform the operations such as copy transfer delete and uh, run the the permission reports etc so that's a uh, successful deliver point installation the final thing that you'll want to do um, post installation is to go back to SharePoint Central Administration and under the deliver point configuration page you can go back to the timer job settings and switch the SharePoint crawl method to incremental and uh, that will from now on just simply do a, an incremental crawl based upon the schedule. The other thing that you might want to um, set if we uh, select OK to that uh, is if you're in a large environment with multiple domains you can go into the forest settings and you can register your other domains in here and you can also exclude domains as well the default would be for deliver point to go to the global domain catalog and from there it looks up the domains that it needs to crawl so if you don't need all of those domains crawling then you can uh, you can exclude the domains um, if you want to okay so that uh, completes the installation of DeliverPoint. If you have uh, any questions at all then please visit our website on lightningtools.com and uh, you'll notice on the menu you'll be able to submit a support ticket and uh, if you do that we'll, uh, we'll endeavor to get back to you very very quickly and uh, resolve the installation problems for you. Okay many thanks for watching.